Hi everybody, Lanny here and welcome to another episode. This is continuing on with our Halloween series. Now we've already done Halloween breakfast foods, but I decided that I also wanted to do Halloween lunch or dinner foods. So what we're about to show you could work for lunch or dinner or snacks at a party, a Halloween party. So anyway guys, stick around and I'll show you what we're making. So this is what we're going to be making today, guys. We're going to be making mummy dogs, haha. -ha. And also a grilled cheese that looks like a jack-o'-lantern. So let's get started. Grilled cheese. Want grilled cheese. Good grilled cheese. Want grilled cheese. Mom, what's he saying? I think he's saying he wants the grilled cheese. No, the grilled cheese is mine. Lammy, you have to share. Poor thing needs to eat. Look at him. Mom, let's show him how to make this stuff. I'm still not too sure about you, Zami. You seem nice enough. What do you guys think? <laughs> I'm still a little nervous around him. All right, let's get started with the tutorial. So first things first, to make the mummy dogs that we just showed you, you're going to need to have these two ingredients. You're going to need crescent rolls. It's dough that's inside that tube there. So you're going to need some of that. And you're also going to need hot dogs, veggie dogs, ballpark dogs, whatever kind of hot dogs you want. We happen to have smart dogs, haha, <laughs> which are veggie hot dogs. So anyway, we're going to be eating these. So let's show you how to make these cute little mummies. First things first, you preheat your oven to 375. So while the oven is heating up, we can start preparing our mummy dogs. So I'm gonna take this stuff out of the packages and I'll show you what to do. All right guys, so I got this open. This is the crescent rolls and these things scare me every single time I open them because they, they pop open very suddenly. It's like a jack in the box. All right everyone, so here are the basic ingredients that I have taken out of their packaging. Now, here's the deal. You are going to need a parent's help for all of this because you're going to be using scissors and knives and the stove. So make sure you get your parents help. So the first mummy dog I'm going to show you how to make is the one that had legs. So basically you have to take some scissors and cut into the hot dog like this. So that way it looks like it has legs. You can also cut into this top part to make that come out. So it looks like it has little arms. See? And this one you can just leave alone. Now, I'm gonna set the hot dogs off to the side for a second because now we need to work with the dough. What you're gonna wanna do is unroll part of the dough like this. All right. And instead of shaping them into crescent rolls, we're gonna actually be cutting them long ways with a knife. So we're gonna be cutting them long ways like this with a knife because you want them in thin strips. So I'm going to continue on with this and we'll be right back. All right, so I just cut two strips for now so I can show you what I'm gonna do with them. Now, you could cut as many as you wanted and wrap these up really tight, but I wanted to wrap them up a little loosely so you could see the hot dog in the middle. So this is the regular hot dog that's not cut. So what you do is you just take the dough and you wrap it loosely around the hot dog like this. And you can do crisscross patterns, you can stretch it out, you can cross it over itself, back around, crisscross it over, and you can do whatever you would like. Now I'm gonna add a little bit of dough here at the top. All right, so this is gonna be like the top of the mummy head. And then it just sticks on like that. You can stretch it across. And then you could add as much or as little of the dough as you want but I'm gonna stick with this. Now, this is the one that has the legs. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna wanna take some of the dough and you're gonna wanna wrap it in between the legs so it defines them and you can tell that they're legs. See how that works? That way you can tell that it's two separate things. And then you continue wrapping the rest of it. All right, and there is the mummy dog with legs. So now what we have to do is put these on a cookie sheet and the oven is preheated to 375 and we have to put them in for about 15 minutes or until the dough is golden brown. 
Now we're going to move on to the second thing that we're going to make in the video today, and that is going to be, like you saw in the beginning of the video, the um, jack-o'-lantern grilled cheese. Now, um, to save time, because this is a little bit time consuming, I have already cut out the face. Now, there are cookie cutters out there that are designed to push into bread and pancakes and things like that to create this. We didn't have one of those, so we had to use a knife. So once again, make sure you get your parents' help and permission to do this. And we had to cut this out, so it's not perfect, but you can tell that it's supposed to be a jack-o'-lantern. Yeah, I wanted it to have one tooth in the front. Yeah, we just have one tooth. That's what Lammy wanted. So anyway, now we're just going to make this like you would a regular grilled cheese. All right, everyone, so it has melted. So now we are going to put our grilled cheese. We're gonna start with the, that side. We're gonna put that in there and we're gonna just start to let it cook and we'll be right back. So there you have it, guys, the grilled cheese. It looks like a jack-o'-lantern and our two mummy dogs. Let's take a closer look. All right, guys, so there they are. They are done and the eyes, I just put little drops of ketchup for eyes. So yeah, this looks great. Lammy? Which one do you want to eat? I want to eat both. Seriously? Yeah, you can have one of the mummy dogs. Thanks. Alrighty guys, so there you have it. Be sure to subscribe. I have a lot more Halloween videos coming. I hope you're enjoying the series so far. Also, follow me on all of my social media. The links are in the description box below, as well as the link to a video I did about Periscope, which is how I'll be doing my live shows from now on. So uh, yeah, go check that video out to find out how to be part of my live shows. So anyway guys, I'll see you in the next video. Cheese, good. Mom, mom, zombie's taking my grilled cheese. <laughs>